Fourth quarter, man. Fourth quarter. Always fourth quarter. to the most high. Right right? Do y'all believe in God, sisters? Y'all love God? Right? If y'all love God, right, can I can I show y'all something real quick? Can I show y'all y'all guys? Y'all trying to go to the fuse bar. Right. <laughs> we trying to tell y'all about God, man. Right. Anyways, let's get into it, right? Let's get it. I hear it to the most high, man. That's right. It's desolate, it's raining. Give me Romans 12 and 1, man. My brother brought it out. We got to bring it out again. Right. Excuse me, family. Uh, that brother passed by. That brother not trying to hear it. Brother, one more time. Right? Go, brother. What's your nationality? Me. Yes, you, brother. Of course. You a ki- you an Israelite, brother. Right. You a king, man. Right. Kings, they pay attention to kings, man. Right. right. The king's not going to ignore another king. Right. And hey, right. you got these things called diplomacies. Right? You got uh, ambassadors. Right? You kings got, they are going to keep it. Hey, sisters, I got a question for you. What's y'all's nationality? They changed their fits from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> for real? <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> hey, yo. It's hey, no, hey, hey. Sundown. <laughs> hey, sundown. Oh, freaks hey, out. Freaks out. Hey, <laughs> Vampires, right? Change them in the Right? Give me Romans 12 and 1. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. Read it I beseech you, therefore, right? brethren, right? by the mercies of God, right? By the mercies of God, he is beseeching us, his brethren, right? That you present your body, right? Our what? Our, our bodies. bodies, right? Our bodies, right? We have to present our bodies as what? A living, living sacrifice. sacrifice. A living sacrifice. In the tumults, in the rain, in the hell, in the right. snow. Hey, brothers are out here doing the work, man. There's right. right. no excuse as to why we shouldn't be laboring each and every day. It doesn't matter if we at camp, if we at school, the grocery store. Hey, hand somebody a fire. Right. right. And wake somebody up today. Right, do the will of the Most High. Hey, don't you want to get out of here? Come on. The only way we get out of here is by waking each other up. That's right, you see your brother sleep. You see, when I see somebody sleep, it's like watching a dead body. And that's Ezekiel uh, 37. That's right. right, you see somebody sleep, you seeing a dead body. Right, that's the equivalent. You looking at a, a damn heathen, man. When you see your brother not in the truth. When you don't see your brother with his fringes on. When you see your brother lacking in faith. Right, you watching a dead body. Hey, brother, I got a question for you. Hey, brother, you can come through. I got a question for y'all though, right? What's your nationality? American. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one minute. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Right. So the reason we out here, we can we out here to tell us and preach the gospel to us. We're the real Israelites. We're the people of the Bible. And the people of the Bible, they're royalty, right? And we have certain things that's required of us in the Bible. Give me do the right thing as well. Bring it out. You see that sign right there? Okay. You see, I oh know you good, you good, you see it? See, look on that sign right here. Take it good, take it good. Oh, good look. Come right. on, bro, you know you want to look. Come yeah, you on, know bro. you want to look, brother. Right. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, can't nobody be too proud right, so for the you Lord. See bro. Anywhere, you say, uh, American, right? But you would say, would you say you're African American? Yeah, that's All right, so you would be a so-called black man. That's right. right. That's what society would tell us, right? Right. So, us being black men, right? How do we go back to the land of black men? That's our nationality. Okay. Right? A nation requires a land mass, correct? Right. Right? So, how can we go back to the land of black? Right? You can. You would be an Israelite, right? Can I say I'm an Israelite from the tribe of what? Well, you at the first one right there. Say it again. Say it louder! And the brother say it's Israelite. Right. So as an Israelite from a tribe, you know who else came from the tribe of Judah? No. Hey, take a good guess. He's a prominent figure in the Bible. He was crucified on what you're wearing around your neck. Hey, it's, uh, Jesus Christ, man. Right. Or your Hawashai would be his name in the Hebrew. That's right. Right. And the holy tongue. Right. So if your Hawashai, if he came from the tribe of Judah, you came from the tribe of Judah. He was a Jew. You're a Jew. He was an Israelite. What does that make you? That's right. right. So, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Give no, me one more minute. minute. One more minute. Work a minute. Work a minute. Let's get this brother. Uh, let's give him Leviticus chapter 11. Right? So, us being Israelites, we have to. We have no, to it's like, it's naturally, right? right. You now, in church, I grew up. Uh, they grew up telling us there was only 10. There's more than 10. There's 613. Right? This is a pretty thick book. 
right? This is a pretty thick book. So of course, naturally, it's going to have more than uh, 10 things to say that we should do, right? It's not just all lessons and, and wisdom. No, this, this book is full of commandments like it tells you in the book of Genesis. Right? All right, let me get you this one verse. I promise. Bring it up. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Bring right? it out. And it's wine. Right, you know what wine is, right? It's important, right? So we divide the hoof. So we divide the hoof. And be clothing for it. And be clothing for it. Then you chew it, not to cut. Right? He is unclean to you. Right? So you can't eat pork because it's unclean. That's one of the commandments that you have to keep. Right? So now on, when you read the Bible, when you study, you have to read it from the uh, concept of I'm an Israelite and this is the Lord giving the commandments to my people. Right? right? So with that being said, brother, you are what? A Hebrew Israelite from one tribe. Right? Our right. praises. Hey, can y'all brothers take a flyer? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the book of Leviticus, because we're a set apart people. Right? Right. We're not like these other nations, man. Right. We, you, you can't compare Israel to a dog, man. That's right. right. Give me the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and uh, start at verse 24. And you give me Leviticus 20 and start at verse 22. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 24. Bring it out! Call not ye yourselves in any of these things. Right, the Lord said, defile ye, ye not yourselves, meaning this is the book of the commandment. We're, we're in the law right now. So the Lord says, don't defile yourselves with this law. Right, don't go to hell off. Read it again. Uh, Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things. For in all these, the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. Now we know the law was given to the Israelites, so this isn't including the heathens, right? The nations, meaning the heathens, are defiled with the law. Why? Because they don't keep it. Esau, what do they do? They put pork in everything. Right? Uh, 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 they break the Sabbath day. They tell you to come in and work a nine to five on the Sabbath day. Right? You can't even rest when the Lord tells you to rest. Right? They find each and every excuse to break the commandments. Give me two commandments you know Esau keeps. They see exactly, man. You can. It's literally physically impossible to think of any commandment that Esau has kept. Or has uh, kept us from being oppressed. Right? And has told us to keep, man. Right. There's no law in the U.S. that tells you to keep the commandments of the Bible. Right? Especially you Hebrew Israelites, which are the blacks and Spanish Native Americans. Yeah. Right? Come yeah. on. Verse 25. In the land that is in the land is defiled. Right? America is defiled, man. That's you right. got idols everywhere, man. You got hooters, right? They got the damn owl, and then you got naked women in there. That's man. right. You got views bro, you got naked Eve in there, man. Right? And who's responsible for this? So-called white man himself it manifests. That's right. right. You got idols everywhere, man. Keep right. going. <laughs> I do visit, it's like it. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. Right. And the land itself vomiteth out of, her, out of her inhabitants. Right, the land vomits out of her the inhabitants. The Lord, he visits the world whenever the world goes off. Right, the Lord, he visits the Israelites whenever we go off. We're being chastised, man. No, 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 we're, no, being, no, no, we're getting no. a spiritual whipping, man. That's right. right, so the Lord, he's visiting us. Why? Because when you have a child, you're gonna tell them to keep certain things, do certain things. The Lord is the same way, and He's not gonna let us slide. Mm. Right? Hey, brother, how you feeling tonight? Good, man. Right? You wanna feel even better? I feel better. Where I'm at? Uh, all right. Hey, I'm good. Brother, what's your nationality, please? My nationality. Yeah. I'm black. You black? Yeah. Can you go back to the land of black? You ever been to the land of black? I'm black. Where's that at? <laughs> Brother, you're an Israelite, bro. That's right. You go back to the land of Israel. That's right. Right, you guys chosen people. That's right. All right. Give me the, uh, bring that up here. Leviticus 20 and 22. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 22. Bring, bring it out. out. He said, therefore, keep all my statutes and all my judgments. How you doing, brother? How you doing, kid? You just listening? All right, all praise. Which nationality? Mexico. Uh-oh. Northern Kingdom. That's what I heard. Right? So you see the sign right here? Oh, no. You're good, kid. You see the sign right here? Look at the second to last one. Right? Your father is Mexican? Yeah. All right. So you see the second to last one? It's called Issachar, right? Right? Which would be what? The so-called Mexican slash Aztecs. Right? You come from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. right? Now, the word Mexican, right? Do you know where that word comes from? Right, the word Mexican comes from the it comes from moon people. That's what Mexican means. Are you a moon person? I don't think you're a moon. You don't look like a Martian. Right, you look like a king. That's right. right. That's right. Like right. A big setup. 
to give righteousness and judgment to the heathen. That's right. right? Set up to do the will of the Father. Mm. Right? So you knowing now you're a Hebrew Israelite, can I hear you say that? That's right. right! I'm a Hebrew Israelite. That's, That's right! right. I gotta kind of tell you what you gotta do now, That's right? Because right. you can't, uh, you can't just say, you know, you know who you are. You just gonna slide and keep on going, right? right? You don't know no commitments, right. right? You don't know where you came from. Right. You don't know any any of the curses that was put upon us, right? Because us as a whole, hey, we're family, right? You look around, hey, you see that brother, and hey, that's your brother that's from right. the tribe of Ephraim. Hey, you see that brother behind you, and hey, that's your brother from the tribe of Judah. Hey, these brothers, brothers from the tribe of Judah, right? Hey, <laughs> you gotta look at this brother's side. Wait, I'm, I'm from the tribe of Judah, man. And I'm your brother, man. Hey, hey we family right. in this thing. Right, right. So right. now that we know we family, now that we know that we royalty, right, what do we have to do as a whole? We gotta keep the commandments. Right? right, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy! Right. Oh, kind of, Because the commandments was only given to the nation of Israel. No other nation can keep these commandments. I was just going into it. No other nation can keep these commandments. Every commandment written in the Bible, every other nation outside of Israel has not done. Instead, they've defiled it. Right? So let's get this one. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Right? And now, and now, Israel. Right? That would be you. That would be me. That would be everybody standing up here. Right? What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now, so that, now that we read this, right, pretend you're reading in your room, right? Pretend you got your Bible open, right? You're reading uh, the, uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12, right? You, uh, think about it. Right? You, you're thinking to yourself, okay, now what does the Lord require? Right? I'm over here reading this book. Right? I know who I am. I know my tribe. I know uh, uh, my nation. So what do I have to do? Right? Keep going. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to fear the Lord thy God. Right? To walk in all his ways. To walk in all the ways of the Lord, man. You made in the image of greatness. That's right. Right? So if you made in the image of greatness, like, uh, they got a saying in the world, like, father, like, son, right? And you got to be like your father, man. That's right. You got to be perfect as much as you can. Because when you perfect, hey, the nation see it and they start to fear you. Right. right. When you perfect, the Lord sees it and he shows respect to you. That's right. right. Right, so keep going. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Right. And with all thy soul. Right. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. Say that again. To, to keep, keep the commandments of the Lord. Lord. I think I heard you right. Say that one more time. To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. Lord. Oh, you got to keep the commandments of the Lord. That's right. right. Are you ready to keep the commandments of the Lord as a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Issachar? That's a tough question. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, right? The commandments are not hard. That's right. Right. We're fooled into thinking, oh, well, the, we can only keep 10 because everything else is just impossible. Right. But when you read the commandments, you keep in most of the commandments as you read, right? Go. Just by breathing, right? You being, you just walking, right? You you literally just keeping the commandments, most of the commandments, right? There's just a few things we just gotta work on, right? Give me that. Uh, this uh, the love of God, first God, right? I gotta show you in the Bible. Right, because the Bible, this is not a book of religion. This is not a book of, of uh, 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 doctrines. Right, this is our nationality. This is our heritage. Y'all hear this? Right, this book, what they teach in church is literally black history, That's Hispanic right. history, Native American history. Right, this is literally who we are as a people. Right, bring it out. First John chapter five and verse three. Bring right, it out. bring it out with love is real quick. All right. Right. Bring it out. For this. It's the love of God. Right, say that again. For this is the love of God. Right, this is the love of God, right? That we keep his commandments. Wait, that we what? That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. But that's not it, but what? And his commandments are not grievous. Meaning his commandments, they're not hard at all. Right, it's not hard to throw some fringes on your shirt. And now you turn it up. Right? It's not so hard to about put certain shit. foods down and replace them and, and now you're well, eating good. That's right. right? you eating good and you eating clean. That's yeah, right. That's right. It's not hard to do these things because once you start to do these things and you start to prosper, right? Bring the Lord, he looks upon you. He's oh. like, hey, that's my servant right there. Hold on, let me bless him real quick. That's, that's right. right. Let me let me kind of throw some blessings on this family. Now, next thing you know, and hey, your brother in the tree. That's now, right. next thing you know, your, the, your whole family keeping up there. Your, your mother, she got a hat wrap on with dress with a fringe. That's right. Your right. hey, whole family start uh, uh, functioning right. Because why? Because the Lord looked upon you. That's he right. told you about it. All your family, man. 
right? I was the only one in my family. Next thing you know, my sisters hit me up talking about, uh, uh, hey, hey, what's that prophecy in Second Ezra's? Right, I'm going out buying my family Bibles. Hey, now we all reading to Hey, right. Hey, my family keeps the Sabbath. All praise. Hey, all praise to the Most High. Why? Because he looked upon me, right? And, and not 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 uh, boasting myself, but making myself an example. Right. Right. He might look upon you, and he might do the same thing and multiply you in abundance. Right, and that's why we're here. We want you to, we want you to be great, man, because you're one of us. Right, you my brother, man. I can't say it enough, man. Hey, right, man. you my brother, King. So with that, hey, let's get some commandments, man. Right, because we know what the love of God is. We know it's not hard, but what are they? Right. Uh, hey, just give me anything. Leviticus chapter eleven, verse seven. Bring right. it out. Tell you this real quick, right? And the swine. Right, you know what swine is, right? Right, that's the pork. No, he divided the hood. Right, because uh, in, in order, Lord, right, all right, <laughs> checking over my words. So the Lord, he made clean beasts, right, and he made unclean beasts for animals, right? So in order for something to be clean, it has to meet two requirements, right? That they chew the cud and that they divide the hood, right? And what does the swine do? He doesn't do any of these things, right? No, it's like he does one of these things. It divides the hook, but it doesn't chew the cud. So we're going to read about the people. And be club and footed, right? Yeah. He chew with not the cut. So because he met one of these requirements, not both of them, right? He is unclean to you. That pig is unclean to you. You cannot eat pork. And this isn't just for you. This is for all the nation of the children of Israel. Right? Y'all hear this? We cannot eat pork, thus says the Bible. Right? You go of their flesh shall you not eat. We can't eat pig. And my dad, he was in all he was in all into all types of stuff. Right? He had pig feet. Right, we had the, the jar. You know that red jar, that nasty mm. red jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah, pickle, uh, pickle pig feet yeah. in the yeah. fridge, yeah. right next to the craft cheese. <laughs> right, and the, hey, hey, we used to do that anymore, mm -hmm. but now we coming to the truth, and we can't do that anymore. Why? Because we read the Lord said, "Don't do it." Y'all are my beloved, right? Y'all are the children of Israel. Y'all can't do it, right? Go on. Uh, and the carcass. So you're not yeah, touch. Right, and their carcass, hey, we can't even touch a corpse. You know, a corpse, that's just a dead body. Right. We can't touch the corpse of these unclean animals. Now, when they're alive, yeah, you can, you know, you can do what you want with them. You know, you can breathe them, you can do this and that, but you can't touch the corpse of a dead uh, unclean animal. Right. Why? Because that would make you unclean. And you don't want to be unclean, right? I don't want to be unclean, and nobody wants to be unclean, right? You ever watch uh, Charlie Brown, and you had that nasty, that nasty one, right? He had that cloud of dust around him, and he was unclean. Man. Nobody wanted to be around him, right? So we don't want to be unclean, right? That's uh, it on that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. Right, so in the waters, right? You like fish? You don't like fish? All right. To be honest, the unclean fish. Like, you know, shrimp, you know, Ah, he already knows. Right? Hey, we're gonna bring it out. Huh. Verse 12. Whatsoever yeah. have no fins yeah. nor scales. So we know shrimp, crab, lobster don't have fins and scales. But there's actually more out there, right? Like I said, they have to read uh, uh, if the beast of the field, they have to meet two requirements, right? Two in the cut, digest their food properly, right, in front of the hook. So do the fish, right? Right? They have to have uh, fins and scales. That's right. right? So there are certain animals that we may not think is unclean, but are actually unclean, right? For example, you got catfish. A catfish does not have scales, but it does have fins, so it has to have two, or uh, uh, both, right? That makes it unclean, right? Uh, what else you got? Oh, uh, you got shark, right? Hey, people eat dolphins, man, right? Do you see these dolphin Disney movies, right? <laughs> dolphin, they, you got the eat them like she has sea world or whatever, right? Hey, people eat that, man. You got squid. All types of abominations. That's why I was saying, right, everybody outside the nation of Israel cannot keep these commandments, right? But we do. Because we, you know, in the world, you was like, hey, squid, y'all shit. Y'all eat that. Wow. That was kind of weird, right? Yeah, right. That was kind of weird okay. to hear people ate squid, right? So it's outlandish for us to eat unclean animals, right? So, like the brother was saying, right, you can eat, you know, these are examples of clean animals, right? You got, uh, uh, a uh, bass, you got red snapper, perch, minnow, and you can eat a goldfish if you wanted to. And that thing is clean right now. I never had a goldfish, but hey, it's clean. It has both fins and scales. So hey, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? All hell break loose, you kinda get the pet goldfish. You kinda season that thing up. You know?
Hey, you, you can do that though, because why? It meets the requirements, right? It has both ends of right? So that's the dietary, right? You could, of course, you know, I behoove you, right? I want you to do more research, right? right. I want you to go into these books and see what we're teaching is true, right? Because we have to prove all things, right? And you have to study to show yourself. Like, like, Right. Yeah, don't let don't let how many commandments there are open. Oh, you talking about fish? For example, you got um like Baptist, you got God, you got this brother no. This brother is a no. I ain't even know I ain't even heard of that. Right? Hey, there's there's a lot of different fish. I'm gonna put it like that. But are you talking about religion? Yeah. Oh my bad, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, you said Baptist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, the Bible, it doesn't go into religion, right? The word religion, when you go into the etymology of religion, the Like different denominations and stuff. It may be confusing. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 142. Bring it out! Before I say that, the Bible, it literally has the answers to all your questions. That's right. right. There is no thing that you can ask that the Bible doesn't have the answer to. Right? Just bring that up. That's true. That's true. So, how do I not know that I got it from Psalm 119 and verse 142. Bring it out! Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Right, thy law is the truth, right? And there's only one truth. You can't have truth from three different religions, and they saying three different things, right? They might be contradicting each other. How can they all be true? Right, there's only one truth, right? So this, hey, hey, this right here. And the law is in the Bible. Like I said, like I said, okay. I, I, we, we, can have, we can look at the same word because, right. Obviously, okay, so are you talking about interpretation? Second Peter, chapter one, and verse 20. Because there's yeah. only one, I mean, actually, we can go. Okay. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any right. private interpretation. Right, so there's, you can't read something and then now we all think differently about that one scripture. I can't read about uh, uh, the dietary law and think, hold on brother, I can't read the dietary law and now we all know, we all kind of just lost because we think it's something different, right? There's no private interpretation, meaning, right? The Lord, you gotta think about it, right? The Lord, he's doing this, right? The Lord, he put that spirit in. Right? So the Lord, he's not he's not the author of confusion. The Lord, he's not going to mix up the different meaning. Now, now everybody got a different interpretation. Of course, not everybody's, you know, not not, not every doctrine is 100% true or not 100% uh, correct and on track. But the Lord, he gave us guidelines. He gave us stepping stones. Right? You know what I'm saying? That's good. I see. Being my ear. And that's why, that's why the Bible says study to show that's Because right. anybody can tell you anything. I can tell you the sky is perfect. No, 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 no. I, I don't think you teach. Are you talking about you? spirits? Yeah, like, like, uh, I'm on way up here. I'm trying my hard to find my vision. Okay. Somebody told me I would get So, like, I don't even, I don't, like, I, I'm not like, so, I would say to that, right, you got spirits that are trying to take you out of this. Now, I know, you know, you just coming in into the word and this and that, but you're going to have things, like, every which way, you got to think about it. You have to have a spiritual eye for it. There's spirits everywhere, right? Think about it, right? Let's say, you know, turn on your, turn on your spiritual goggles for a second, right? Let's say, right, you walking on the side. You got a thousand spirits out here, right? Thousands and millions and millions of spirits. 
right? And each of them have a purpose, right? They, uh, one of them, their purpose might to, uh, uh, to take you out the spirit, might make you mad, might make you feel a certain type of way, right? They might be in your ear telling you one thing, right? But the thing is, you have to resort. Okay, how does that line up? Okay. Right, right, right. But people are piloted by spirits, if that makes sense. So back to the point, right? You got spirits everywhere, even inside of people, right? There's a spirit inside this brother, there's a spirit inside me, inside you, right? There's a spirit inside the, uh, uh, everything, man, right? If an apple falls from the tree, hey, a spirit did that. So, you know, you got spirits everywhere, you're gonna have something that puts you in the spirit, right? This word, the spirit of this word puts you in the spirit. What? Right, there's gonna be spirits to take you out the spirit. Spirit that make you angry. Spirit that make you happy, right? So the reason, so the way you get in the right spirit is if you hearken to the word, right? right? That's the only way you can stay girded up and in the spirit. That's right. right. Give me First Peter five and eight, cause that's a uh, that's a metaphor of scripture, right? Right. We gotta stay spiritually sober. If we do the things, I'm put like this. If we do the things that this world encourages, right? That's gonna make us spiritually drunk. Right. You gotta do it. It's the book of First Peter chapter five verse eight. Bring it out. Be sober. Be vigilant. Right. Be sober. Meaning, have your mind. Uh, have a sound mind. Have your mind right. Have your mind meditating on the right things. Right. Because your adversary, the devil. Right, you have an adversary, the devil. Walk, right, uh, human, you got an adversary, man. That means the enemy, right? Your enemy is trying to take you out of the spirit, right? So you got to stay sober, right? You have to have your mind meditating on the scriptures, right? When you start reading, you got to start meditating. You got to be like, okay, how do I, you know, what does this mean? How does this apply to my life, right? How can I apply this to others? How can I build a nation, right? You have to stay meditating as well, or else you can have that one thing. Right, somebody might cut you off in traffic, now you out the spirit, right? So you can have, you know, like I said, this spirit is made for everything, right? But we have to stay spiritually sober, right? Well, as a roaring lion, right? Walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Right, that, those wicked spirits that try to take you out the spirit, they're going to try to say, okay, if I, can I get this man out the spirit? You know what I'm saying? You making sense? I don't want to hear me. Yeah, see, see, you got uh, uh, spirits trying to take you out of the spirit of listening, man. Right, you might be listening to the word, you might be reading, hey, whatever the case you may do, uh, uh, whatever the case may be, right, you have spirits that's going to try to take you out, right? That's the condition of God, right? To stay in the spirit, to prolong, right, right, uh, it's like to endure, right? To keep going, right? That's literally what this thing is about. Can I endure these spirits that try to take me out, right? You got to think about it, right? You got people in the world, Right, they be like, dang, this man trying to take me out. And hey, you had, you know, King David, right? Right, you gotta keep moving in the spirit. Mark chapter 9 and verse 24. Pick it out. And straightway, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou, help thou mine unbelief. When your house shall saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, The dumb and deaf spirit are charged thee. Come out of him and enter no more into him. So you that also goes with prayer, man. And you gotta pray that the Lord takes the spirits away from us. Right? right? That's what we pray for. Right? Take this so-and-so spirit. It might be a prideful spirit, it might be a, a, a weed spirit, right? Some some of us battle smoking, and there's a lot of spirits that we do, right? But we gotta pray that the Lord removes it. Ultimately, that's the best way to get these spirits off of you, just by praying. Right? Some of, the, some of the things that we think, oh, that's a small matter, might be the biggest thing. 